Okay, I have a problem with small talk. I'll touch on that later. So I decided to go on a journey in my mind to put things into perspective. But first, let's take a peek to have an idea on what it's going to be like. Idea number one. This will be a lot of me talking. Well, here I... Welcome to me. It looks nice and inviting with uncanny subnotes. Yeah, I guess that's me. Let's start with this one. I'm not avoiding. Normally I'd dig a hole in me and then fall into it, but this time I decided that instead of falling in, I would willingly go in. But I need a set of tools to do this. First of all, I have to be able to see things from a distance. I'll need a cover to protect me from the outside world. Legs to stand still or escape. <laughs> and some power within me to keep going. All right, I'm ready for a fancy retrospective now. Oh, that one. This is not an era I'm particularly proud of. I'll say that. Something was missing, but I wasn't sure if it was something missing in my life or in me. So I heeded a call again, not sure if it is life or me. That in itself is a difficult distinction, whether it's something inside me or outside me. Inside becomes outside sometimes. Then you realize there's nothing left inside. You're empty. Here's something to focus on. Emptiness. Absence. Lack. Ha! Huh. Then this emptiness starts to make sense. The nothingness turns into something. It's really strange that the thing you trust the most and the thing you fear the most is your own mind. Recently, my daughter told me that she doesn't want to be a mom. I thought it was normal since I thought the same at that age. But when I asked her why, I was surprised by her answer. Global warming, wars, famine. It seems selfish to bring a child into a world that is heading towards apocalypse, she said. Ouch. Being needed by someone gives you a power you didn't even know you had. Then, when that need is gone, you realize that you have defined your own value through these needs. And it can be difficult to find your own self-worth again that is not tied to someone else. When you focus on the absence, you become blind to the presence around you, no?
you realize the value of time when you lose it, like everything else. Even if I say, let's stop and let everything go, I still won't have time to do everything that's left in me. My fertility is ending. My body is aging. My biological limits are shrinking. Mm, my marriage is not going very well. And you know what scares me the most? Being an only child, facing the death of my parents all alone. So what am I doing here? I treat all this as material and produce mediocre work in certain templates. Considering that the majority is mediocre by the very nature of the word, it made good money. I was just going to take a peek, but I forgot and got carried away. Let's leave it here for now. Now let's take a look at the popular destination of the journeys through memories, childhood. I found a robot in the nooks of my mind. How long have you been here confined? So you unplugged your wires. If I replug them, would you tell me your desires? I've never seen such a contraption. No wonder you malfunction. Layla. Yeah? I'm going to your grandma for the weekend. A hug? I'm coming, Mama. Okay, that's enough. The rest is spoilers. Before finishing the preview, I'd like to take a quick look back to my adult life. Oh, as a child, when my parents sent me to the village to stay with my granny, I spent most of my time in this treehouse. It looks neglected, almost forgotten. I'm happy to be back to this memory. The more I think about it, the more vivid the memories become in my mind. I guess aging is partly the wisdom of understanding which memories you should cherish and which ones you should let fade. Ah, it's smaller than I remembered.
Welcome to my adult life. You get the idea. We can skip this part. Let's see.
Okay, I think that's enough. Now I know more or less what I'm getting into. 